All right, guys, real quick before we get started on the bike here in person, I want to go over the torque specs in case you're curious. There are two drain plugs with screens inside of them. Uh, the larger drain plug, which is closer to the oil filter housing, gets to about 9.6 foot-pounds, and the smaller one, which is located on the bottom of the engine there, gets to about 8 foot-pounds. And the little uh, M6 bolts that hold the uh, canister oil filter housing on get to about 7.4 foot-pounds. Here's what I've got here. It's an oil filter uh, kit here. OEM off of Amazon. And here's the oil I have here, 15W50 synthetic for motorcycles. It takes 1.8 quarts, so if you want to drizzle it down to about 26, that'll be 1.8. Leave the other one full. First thing I'm going to do here, I have it on a padlock stand. And um, I'm going to get this front spoiler off. That's what they call it. It's this bottom panel here. Then I'm going to warm up the engine. Removing the lower panel does give access to the lower drain plug, that smaller of the two I just showed you. So basically what you want to do here, this panel, just go around and you find all the mounting screws. See that right there, that Allen head? You can also take off, um, these two eights off and take it off that way on this side. There's another one right there, another Allen head. On to the right side of the bike here. There are two screws right inside of here. In case you couldn't see it, here's the other end of the screws. Right here's one and the other. So get your Allen wrench right in there and there. And that should be all the screws and this should slide right off. There's a four millimeter Allen. See? I'll let you know here in a second if you need to take any more screws off. Working that first Allen head screw out, I broke it loose with the 3 8 ratchet, and I'm taking it the rest of the way out. This is on the left side of the bike. Getting the one on the front here. On the right side of the bike now, getting one of those two loose that are, you know, going through this way. Okay, with the last two screws off of there, this came right off. All right, boys, it appears that the uh, lower part of the spoiler, this whole guard right here, that my finger's on, needs to come off as well. And it is fastened on with uh, bolts on each side, starting up front here uh, on each side, left and right, going from this side. It appears to be a eight millimeter bolt eight millimeter head and then you follow this down once again on each side right in there can you see that right there there my fingers almost on it <laughs> okay and there's one more right in the middle of the camera I will zoom in right there And that's on the left side of the bike. And this is just to give better access to the secondary drain plug. So, like I said, here's the right side of the bike. Starting from the front here, another fastener right there. The right side, they're easier to get to. There's one right there and one right there. Take all six of those bolts off and remove the lower shield there. Okay. My V-Star was so much easier to work on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Working on the left side of the bike here first, getting those eight millimeter fasteners off of here. I'm using this eight millimeter open end wrench to get that center one off. The other ones, I just used a quarter inch uh, impact and zipped them off. Um, I recommend getting a, a quarter inch extension along with it to help. All right, all six bolts are off, and here's this stupid thing right here. Oh my goodness. Back over on the driver's side, or left side of the bike, excuse me. We now have access to our uh, secondary drain plug here, right here. That houses a screen. And here's the primary drain plug, and that also houses the screen. 
like when you take the plug out there's a screen you clean out or replace and on the right side of the bike that is your oil filter housing but first I'm gonna get the engine running get it up to operating temperature before I drain anything I just wanted to get all the panels off first so I didn't have to worry about that later <laughs> Good enough. All right, let's proceed with draining the oil. Okay. Get an oil pan under here. Open up the fill here. Take that out just to let the uh, air flow more and get the oil out faster. Start with the easy one here, 18 millimeter. I would get some uh, saran wrap or some metal cooking foil and wrap around the exhaust so the oil doesn't go on it, but I'm stupid. Okay. Okay, that was not tight at all. There she comes. This is the break-in oil. Um, so some shininess is considered normal, but don't, uh, if you got any chunks in there, beware. <laughs> All right, next there's a little screen in here. You can clean that off with brake cleaner, uh, brake parts cleaner, and put it back in a few. Ooh. Mm. And uh, put that back in if you want, but that kit from Amazon does come with these screens and all that. All right, boys, so moving down here. The uh, secondary drain plug is a 13 millimeter head. I'm on it right now. That's the location, if you can make that out. There you go, you can sort of see it there. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry about that. You can't really see it, can you? There you go. You'll see it. It's the only plug down here and 13 millimeter head. I recommend a longer extension because this exhaust is extremely hot. <laughs> so I'm going to take this out and there's going to be another screen in there to pull out. Okay, I just broke it loose. Turning it out. Ouch, that is a hot exhaust. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm backing it all. It's almost all the way out now. See? See that? There we go. There we go. Came out with the screen and all. All right, I'm gonna take my time and let it drain here. Go ahead and pull the filter off on the other side. Eight millimeter head bolts on there as well. Okay. Okay, on the right side of the bike now. You know, here's the uh, fill. There's the uh, brake and all that. Um, here's the filter. Housing, eight millimeter head once again, just saying it again for no particular reason. I don't want to take them all the way out with the impact just in case they fall off into the oil. And this bolt is out, put them in the same spot, and in theory now, Little tap at the socket, broke the bond on the seal. And there we go. Replace that O-ring on here on the outside. You see that? You just pull it off and put the new one on. Get on there. <laughs> Okay, this pick here actually did the trick. A little bit of a bend in it. Just went around the outside of it and just popped the bond of the filter with the uh, inside of the engine. Get this the rest of the way out here. There we go. Just gonna go ahead and uh, let that drain for a few minutes until it comes down to a drip. Got the new O-ring here. I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of oil on it. Definitely use clean engine oil and not that uh, crap in there. Okay. Need to get a pick to get that old one off. Okay, I used that and knocked it off the ridge here, and there it is. Looks like there's a little ridge in there that the O-ring sits in. All 
right, so I'm gonna get this and discard it. Get the new one here. Uh, first, I'm gonna clean that off. Okay, that's ready to go on. Let's go ahead and get the new filter ready to go. I am gonna put a little bit of oil right here. Definitely used uh, clean engine oil there. Um, <laughs> there we go. Pop, there it goes. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this little son of a gun back on here, shall we? Make sure the new seal's still on there, inspect it for damage, and put your bolts in. All right, I did show the torque specs at the beginning of the video. I'm going to go ahead and torque at the spec here. Click. I've got the kit opened up here on the back of my uh, riding mower seat. Okay. Comes with new screens and plugs, and here's the other one here. Uh, according to Amazon reviews, there have been some people who have been getting damaged O-rings. Just double check yours. This one actually, these look a little bit wet already, so that's good. I can stick them right in. The filter or the uh, O-ring on here is dry though, on this uh, bigger plug. Um, so just wet any uh, dry O-rings with clean engine oil before insertion. Without further ado, we'll go ahead on the driver's side of the bike here. I keep saying that, the left side of the bike. All right, stick these in. All right, this uh, larger screen here has been lubricated with dirty engine oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in here. There's a little tab on here, which is the provision for you to go ahead and grab onto with your fingers. Careful with the exhaust, it's probably hot. Okay, it's fully inserted. Now I'm gonna take my new plug here. You can always reuse your old ones if you want, if you need spares or anything. And, uh, get a little bit of oil on this and then uh, stick it in. Torque specs were at the beginning of the video if you want to reference that. There we go. That's yeah, tight enough. Get all this oil off the exhaust here to avoid smoking. <laughs> All right, now if you remember, we do have one more plug to go. This one here, the 13 mil head, and uh, two O-rings that have been wet here. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in. Right in the middle of the camera, it's blurry, but there we go. Thread that in by hand, do not cross thread. All right, that 13 millimeter bolt, um, drain bolt is tightened, so is the 18, and the canister oil filter housing on the other side has been tightened. Everything's been wiped down, so at this point I'm going to clean this mess up here and get the panels back on the bottom. Alrighty, I do have the lower two panels uh, buttoned back up there. That was the most difficult part of the job. Okay. Um, yeah, if, you, uh, if any of you guys out there work at a KTM dealership, um, respect. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that all day. Always inspect for debris in your funnel. I don't have any debris in my funnel. So it's uh, prepped for insertion, and I'm going to install my 1.8 quarts of 15W50 motorcycle oil. Quicksilver, <laughs> not a sponsor. There we go. I am pouring pure life into this engine right now. That is some thick stuff. <laughs> all right, all the oil's been added. I'm going to take that off. Make sure nothing got stuck to the cap here. Go ahead and get that in there. You just want to get it hand tight. There we go. Now I want to go ahead and start the engine and let it run for a minute or so. Circulate the oil through the filter. Then I'm going to check the oil. It's been about a minute, minute and a half. There's your fill glass, your check glass right here. The oil level, sh you should be able to check the oil level and, s and see the level inside of the glass. And I do not at this time, however, I'm gonna give it a minute because I just turned it off. Got the bike off the stand here to get a more accurate reading. Tilt it straight up. And what do we got here? There we go. All good to go. 
That's how you change your oil on a 2023 KTM 390 Duke. Those panels were kind of uh, not fun to deal with, but aside from that, it was pretty straightforward. Two drain plugs, two screens, and a filter with an O-ring on the housing. 1.8 quarts of oil, and she's all set. Hope this helps you guys. If you want any more videos, let me know. Uh, I do plan on doing a video on chain lube and tension. Um, maybe an air filter, we'll see. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.